The lymphatic and immune systems work very close together. So in this video, we're going to group them together. Let's start by looking at the components of each of the systems. The lymphatic system is comprised of lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and lymph fluid that flows through the vessels and nodes. It also contains the thymus here, the spleen here, and the tonsils here. The immune system is comprised mainly of white blood cells and bone marrow, which produces many types of white blood cells. The lymphatic system has three main functions, beginning with the removal of some of the fluid that surrounds cells and tissues and organs. When nutrient-rich blood enters capillaries and tissues and organs, blood plasma fluid passes through capillary walls to drop nutrients off. In order to maintain fluid balance, as fluid enters the tissue, fluid is removed from the tissue into a lymph capillary. And this fluid is now called lymph. This lymph fluid travels through lymph vessels and eventually re-enters blood. The second lymphatic system function is that fats are absorbed into the system during the digestive process, where they are transferred into the bloodstream and eventually to the liver for processing. The lymphatic system is also a mode of transport for many immune system cells, and lymphatic vessels uptake many antigens from various tissues throughout the body. These antigens are taken into lymph nodes and trigger an immune response. You can think of an antigen as a substance that is harmful to the body. The main function of the immune system is to protect the body against harmful substances. It does this through using its white blood cells to fight invaders. For instance, if a cell is infected with a virus and this cell bursts, it releases microbial antigens. An antigen presenting cell picks up one of these antigens and brings it to a local lymph node. Here it is presented to a killer T cell, which recognizes the antigen and sends in other killer T cells to the infected area. The killer T cells arrive and release granzymes, which enter the infected cell and induce death, preventing the release of viral components, thus preventing the spread of the virus. And that be the basics on the immune and lymphatic systems.